All right, so the first thing I want to talk about are the lesson plans. And um, when I go through the lesson plan audit, I haven't done audits this week, but you are meeting the bar for like the time stamps. Well, yep. You normally do the time stamps, right? Nah. Okay. So let's put those in there. Yeah. Um, but like I see that you plan the, the words that you're going to use. And um, I've been in there and observed your um, high frequency at bats. I know that all kids are getting the opportunity to um, practice on their whiteboards. Yeah. Um, so the, the area that we still want to work on is like planning ahead of time for um, drill leaders and also like the targeted sounds and words specifically that you yeah. want to spiral mm -hmm. in for students. So let's talk a little bit about the data that you, so this is the data that you collected this week, right? Uh, yeah, I'm week. still on this week. They have the unit assessment today. Okay, so let's, tra let's start by transferring some of this data onto this lesson plan okay. for next week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, okay. what are some major trends? Like, do you have, when you take data, do you look, are you, like, writing down, like, yep. a skill, or are you writing specific names? Kind of both. Okay. Yeah. So, let's, let's zone in on the specific, if you have any specific name in your, this data, and then we're going to use the test, but um, any specific names of skills, um, that you saw this week that need to be spiraled into next week? Um, I'm, I'm still gonna review, like with the whole class, the suffixes, cause we okay. just, they just learned like seven new ones. Okay. On top of the ones they already learned. So is there a specific suffix? Like, can you get like specific on, like, is it ED? No, they, like, they're doing pretty well. It's all about the same. There's some, like, there's three that they, like kind of forget about. Okay. So I highlight those and make sure we go over those. Okay. In particular. Okay. Um, yeah. So when so when you turn your lesson plans in, just transfer that over whatever your specific yeah. skills. But is it for <clears throat> so to meet the requirement? Well, not to meet the requirement. Just so you know. So like individual student drill leaders. Yeah. Um. So the impact of I'm gonna call you up and um, I'm gonna have you do all the suffixes versus if I know that you have ing. Yeah. Every time I ask you ing, you got it. That's like, it's not necessarily, you know. Yeah. So, um, so you can annotate suffixes, but what I wanna do is look at the test and annotate next week what specific sounds, if there's a specific kid who needs something specific yeah. that's what we're looking for when we talk about um drill leaders and specific targeted sounds yeah but this okay. is test i have test unit four but next week is unit six today they're doing unit five unit five to today test. well but still so like let's look at unit four because like it's yes yeah, if suffixes. have mm -hmm. you so then we can like glean like what's the lowest what was the lowest suffix um est so that would be something that you would annotate in and you would continue to spiral EST until yeah. you like look and everybody has it. So that would be something that's um, annotate EST into yeah. this, this week's lesson or either or, either okay. or. Yeah, I've been like doing that. I just, so I mark up, I put like, I just get it out of the way and I put my lesson plans in like Monday morning mm -hmm. and then like I obviously have my own copy and mm -hmm. this, co this copy is the one I write on. Okay. So like I just leave this in there, but it's not marked up because that's just like to for you, show you like I did it. I have it in there. Right. So, so I think the, the thing is, it's like, but if you're um, collecting them Monday, I don't, I use this. So like I have this for the whole week. Right. So, but so that is like your real time, Yeah. but we also want to do like not just real time specific notes, but we also want to like look at this test and annotate on our lesson plans before. So I, I get what you're saying. You take real time data and that's yeah. great. But also we want to plan ahead okay. before the real time thing even happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got that makes you. Sense? Yeah, I got you. So 
Um, let's look. Is there a specific student that? Um, so what did you say? The lowest. Was. So EST, so coldest, I think it's when it's like a glued sound followed directly by a syllable or if there's like too many, like a three a three letter blend. Okay. It's like when they. So EST would be something that you would annotate in this lesson plan to continue yeah. to spiral. Okay. Um, and let me see. What, um, what was the one So, so I, I just want to stamp. So the difference would be you're doing exactly what a good teacher would do, which is taking in the moment, real time data and spiraling into lessons. So the next step would be to also have this this assessment data out and like pre-plan before yeah. you even get to the misconception in the real time lesson. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, so also sometimes, a lot of times I do, cause like, we have to go over like review words. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll throw them stuff like I know we forgot a little bit about like our bonus letters. So I made sure to throw in like a, a word that has the bonus letters in there. Okay, and, and that's that's great. So you're addressing it, class trends, yeah. but let's get more granular and like think about specific trends, specific students now that we can like, like for example, who missed the most sounds on sounds yeah the most who's struggling the most with sounds or is there I mean, nobody they struggling? really only two people got one wrong and this is these are our lowest reader kids so we're already hitting them in small group accelerations right but those with the kids would be the kids that you would look at the sound so like for example this kiddo right here yeah alona and denver so alona and denver would be the kids that i would intentionally pre-plan before you even <clears throat> Because the notes are always going to say along in Denver if they're the lowest kids, right? Yeah. So let's look at the assessment and like spiral that specific skill over and over again until Alona and Denver have it. So it's good that you're also addressing those specific skills in acceleration blocks. Do you take data in acceleration uh -huh. blocks? Okay. Well, other than the progress monitoring. Yeah. Okay. So, um,. So Alona, what what's that uh, that she missed? I think if I recall, she put um, the suffix and the sound. Like she put Z and S when I just asked oh, for the letter. Is, is this so, the one where they had to write what what makes the sound? Uh huh. So and the next question was like she got correct because she put Z S for both of them. Okay. When I specifically asked like suffix and letter, and then just the letter. So it's a little tricky. Okay, so what what would you pre-plan for Alona to work on, based on the data that you've collected, not class trend, just thinking about Alona yeah. specific needs. The thing is, she knows like what sound, what letter makes, like she knows that. Okay, so let's go down the words then. So if, if sounds yeah. aren't the <clears throat> sounds, they're pretty good. Like they're usually. Okay. So then we can then apply like, is there? Okay, so let's go down to what's the lowest, um, coldest. Say it again. Coldest. Coldest. Okay. And how many students miss coldest? Do you? Is it like a small number or nine? Okay. Um, it would even be more effective if we had to test in front of them so we could address. So it sounds like what word did you have? Did you put in? You said that you planned a word to yeah. address coldest. What What was the word that you? It might have just been coldest. You did coldest. Yeah. Again. Okay. It might have just been coldest. Okay, so let's look at a student who's struggling with words and see what we can glean from like who who we can plan individual help for. So like this student down here. Yeah, she's new. Um, which words does she miss? All of them except for bunches. Do you remember like is it the digraphs in the words? Well, she so she's she came in. She just joined us like a couple weeks ago. So like she okay. came in low behind. Like, so, so what's the, so for me, my question is like, so it's hard to catch up one kid cause she missed the whole beginning while everyone else didn't. Right. So, and that, so this is where this pre-planning, <coughs> this pre-planning comes in. So the first thing we did was digraphs, right? Yeah. So we should look at our test and see 
was it the digraphs that she's missing so if it was just the digraphs that she was missing so then when you plan your individual drill leader here you would plan just for this student yep digraphs yeah so that's where the pre-planning comes in before the in the moment feedback so it sounds like we need to figure out where do you think like if you can remember her test like do you think a short vowel sounds or digraphs um i think it's kind of everything like it's just like i'm trying to catch her up they're in small groups because since she is so far behind and missed so much, I okay. can't like review everything. And then right. they're, the rest of the class is just like, so, so I am going over, like even just tapping out the sound, she didn't know how to like, cause she didn't come from another breakthrough school either, but like she didn't know how to like tap out the sounds and blend them together. So this would be a good opportunity for her to like, you to spiral in. I will start with diagraphs since that's yeah. the first thing we taught. And it doesn't have to be like, you're. she's an individual drill leader. Yeah, so. so just, yeah. Say the role of diagram. Yeah, she came and, up the other day. She was, okay. She was the drill leader. And so what I'll be looking for in your lesson plans is I, I hear you when you say the real time um, in the moment data. Yes. But I want you to like think about individual student needs yeah. and annotate that in before. So like it's sort of like when we say planning for misconceptions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, so that you'll try to even get ahead of it. Or if it's something that you taught, well, that's still in the moment. Um, so another thing like multi-syllable words, mm -hmm. say we're teaching, I don't know, I can't remember what was the most hard, hardest thing we taught. Right now you're in long vowels, right? No. No? Unit six? I'm not in, I'm doing unit five assessment today. Oh, okay. So you will be going yes. in long vowels. <laughs> so like, is there a student that you think specifically may struggle with long vowels based on something that you've already seen? So that's the type of thing we want to think about. Annotate that student. Okay. Um, so like I know we said who is the um kiddo we talked about. Alona, Kylie. Aiden. Is it Aiden who he means well, but sometimes he gets it wrong, right? He gets frustrated when that's he gets CD. it. CB, not Aiden, that's yeah. her brother. So maybe call CB up to, yeah. you know, front load things. So I'm gonna be looking for specific individual students and how you're addressing their individual needs. Okay. Because it's like you have your class trans yeah. and then you have individual needs. Okay. So what I would say is it's it's really more effective when you have a test in front of you because you're like, oh, I see yeah. that all these, every time um, Aiden has uh, to write short O, it could be so specific, so granular. How am I going to address it? And acceleration blocks is okay, but you can also like I got you. use. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So does that make sense? Does that sound like a plan yeah. or something that you can do? Yeah. Okay, so you've already analyzed this data. So coldest was one of the words. Was there any? Whoop. Sprinted. Sprinted. So what was the problem with the word sprinted? They just struggle when it's like three three letters in the blend. Three, okay. More so. Okay, and so did you go through and like plan in? Yes. And it's, in it, there, it, I don't, it might be oh, in here. This, cause this is, yeah. Cause this is, okay. Okay, so we have three letter blends. What else did you find as a trend? That's kind of it. Cause the big thing too was like, um, and I think I spoke about this in the last meeting. Uh -huh. um, when they're spelling, like doing the base word first and then adding the suffix, like knowing that you don't have to tap out the suffix, just tap out the base word to spell it and then add the suffix, right. like that kind of thing. So, so we've been drilling that even going into uh, the syllables we still like drilling like okay what's my base word then like so even there like is there a specific kid or is it still just the mm, whole class it's more than it's well more than one so okay. like i but i again like i know which ones so you would want to annotate the specific kids okay. if it's if it's just well the difference would be if it's a class train like if it's more than half the class yeah. then yes everybody <laughs> needs to review but if it's just two kids and you would annotate it and use them to come up and do yeah. the markup or write it on the board. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. 
All right, so the other thing I wanted to look at real quick. So that is the next action step to do. Use your data to plan individual um, specific. And what do you think the impact of that will be? I know I know we've talked about feelings about data, but what do you think the impact will be of working on a specific skill each time you call the kid up? Yeah, I think it'll build their confidence, and I think it'll drill it into them more. Yeah. And then you, when you get to acceleration blocks, you can also do like a reassessment. Yeah. Are they getting better? Do I need to change? Because I think about like kids who, like we move, it, uh, foundations move so quickly that like if they didn't get digraphs in the beginning, and we don't specifically say this kid still doesn't have digraphs. Yeah. And, we we're now going into like next week long vows yeah so we want to keep spiraling stuff in that for specific needs as well as class trends um that's the one thing i don't like about foundations it moves so fast it does and yeah. it goes on it does, so yeah. so that's why we just got to be cognizant of oh so and so still doesn't have i don't know um something a long time ago like double letters yeah like that's a thing that's a loss Right, right. So um, that's why we just have to like annotate from test and keep spiraling from the data that we've collected so it doesn't get like now they're in third grade because we have never taught double L again yeah. and don't know it. Okay. Um, so I just want to check in about, and they told me to ask you guys about the dyslexia. Um, where is it? Some of the data. How has that been going? Like, is that the Acadian stuff? Um, yes. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I think they're showing improvements every week, a little bit for the most part. Okay. So, um. But now we only put it in here, right? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, okay. This is week of eleven thirteen. Wait. Can you look at this and see if any of these kiddos are yours? Yeah, Eli, Delmore, Santana Howard, and Devon Price. Okay, so let's talk specifically about them because yeah. it looks like, um, why is my screen so dark? Hold on, I gotta adjust the brightness. I'm one of those old people who need to like have it bright <laughs> and large because I've got to that point in life. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the brightness. And so, and looking at the data, um, I'm gonna go back and look at it. You said Eli, Elijah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, oh, well, he didn't. He only went from he went 34, 34 29, 29 to 33. And then back up to 33. So that's good. And he's also like a kid that like we referred, like we had to give Miss Gina like two kids or whatever. So with him, it's more about like the, I think it's about the headspace he's in. I don't necessarily think he's like regressing in reading or okay so also these are like because these are kids that i will also um call up to the board yeah. have individual turns um as drill leaders if you see like they need additional practice with right nonsense word fluency who else is there so santana howard one of them santana okay he started out this hasn't been here I guess, okay. but I thought I did his more than once though. Oh, well, no, he didn't. Re this is not regression. We just need him to. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we can like, if you are able to do him today, is he yep. here today? Yep. Okay. And then, so you don't have any of the kids in red. So you feel like they're growing. Well, so Devon Price, so this one was actually surprising. Um, because he is getting stronger in reading in general. Mm -hmm. um, like he's reading a chapter book with me now, just like during the extra time we have. Uh -huh. So I was a little bit surprised um, when I did his. Is he trying to tap the word out? Cause he, he doesn't um, have to tap it out. He no, he's not fast. trying to tap it out. I, I'll look at his, um, because I was surprised about that. If that's, I just, I want to double check that as well. Do you use any of the, um, the foundations like real word. I wonder is what tripping him up that it's a nonsense word. Like if No, he's not them. doing the nonsense words, he's doing the passages. Oh, or read for okay, I see yeah. weird okay. Oh, uh, I don't know why 
I thought you guys were doing Nazi. Some Nazi. are. No, some are. Okay. But, but not he, all of them are. He in particular is doing. Is doing horror passages, movies. yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's weird then. It was. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I could check it. And also, I did his yesterday. I, I start some of them on Thursday because in case a bunch of absences on Friday when we normally do it. Okay. Um, okay. So just if you see regression, yeah. if you see this is a great piece of data to like while they're reading, are there like trends in the words that they're getting stuck okay. on? Even if it doesn't <clears throat> align with like um what you're teaching in the week you can still spiral that in to review with the words okay um individual or whole group okay okay yeah all right perfect thank you